Amphibious Construction Battalion 1 ACB1 or ACB1 or PHIBCB1 or PHIBCB1 is an amphibious construction battalion in the United States Navy based in Coronado, California. Amphibious Construction Battalion 2 is its sister unit based in Little Creek, Virginia. Topic: <laughs> Mission ACB-1's primary mission is to provide ship-to-shore transport of combat cargo, bulk fuel and water, and tactical camp operations supporting Amphibious Ready Group, Marine Expeditionary Force, Brigade-sized operations, Combined, Joint Logistics Over the Shore C, JLOTS, and Maritime Prepositioning Force MPF operations. History Topic: World War II 104th Naval Construction Battalion. ACB-1 was originally commissioned at Camp Perry, Williamsburg, Virginia, the 16th of July 1943, as the 104th Naval Construction Battalion, and was sent to Camp Endicott, Gulfport, Mississippi. During World War II CBs sent to the Pacific were attached to one of the four amphibious corps, I, III, and V were U.S. Marine Corps under Admiral Nimitz, CINCPOA, Pearl Harbor while VII Amphibious Corps was U.S. Army under General MacArthur, SWPA, Brisbane, Australia. The 104th was attached to VII Amphibious Group in 1943 and sent to Gamadodo, Milne Bay, New Guinea, Australia in 1944, and late, Philippine Islands, 1945. During these two years, the 104th completed numerous land-based construction projects ranging from an airfield on Los Negros Island, in the Admiralties, to Naval Air Station Cuby Point on Island of Late in the Philippines. The battalion was eventually deactivated in December 1945. In January 1947, the 104th was reactivated and first began their amphibious mission when the unit was tasked with the assembly and placement of pontoon structures, beach rehabilitation, harbor development, salvage, and training of reservists in these operations. In October 1950, it was recognized by the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Forrest Sherman, that the 104th and 105th NCBs had specialized capabilities that separated them from the other naval construction battalions and were redesignated Amphibious Construction Battalion 1 and 2. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Korean War Amphibious Construction Battalion 1. During the Korean War several detachments were deployed to the Western Pacific in support of amphibious operations. In the September 1950, invasion of Incheon a pontoon causeway was brought into Incheon Harbor on D-Day plus one to be used a tide level landing. General Douglas MacArthur came ashore over this pier on D plus two, a month after 15 September 1950, landing at Incheon, ACB-1 moved to the east coast of Korea and again supported the 1st Marine Division. This time they landed at the port city of Wonsan as part of the 1st Marine Division's shift from the Incheon Seoul area to the northeast coast of Korea. While the Marines moved north to positions in the Chosun Reservoir area, the Seabees built piers and unloaded ships. On 21 September 1950 a detachment from ACB-1 went into Seabee history. Aerial reconnaissance reported eight locomotives trapped by broken rail lines in the Yongdong Po switch yard eight miles north of Incheon. The ten Seabees, led UT Chief Bloomer, volunteered to attempt to liberate the engines from behind enemy lines. Adjacent to the switch yard was a Kiran beer brewery where the Seabees liberated cases of beer to be returned to the south also. They fired the engines and repaired the rails as they went returning to American lines. UTC Donald T. Bloomer, CM1 Welton N. Horn and CM2 Gordon K. Barnett received a letter of commendation with a ribbon and the combat V from the Admiral of the Seventh Fleet for bravery in the exploit. The engines were turned over to the U.S. Army Transportation Corps. Operation Crippled Chick, the assignment to build the emergency landing strip behind enemy lines on Yodu Island, fell to ACB-1's detachment George. 
Led by Lt. T. E. Rowe, Detachment George was composed of one warrant machinist, six chief petty officers and 69 CB enlisted men. Six of these CBs had landed at Incheon two years earlier. The CBs named the runway Briscoe Field for the commander of the fleet Admiral Robert P. Briscoe. Vietnam ACB-1 was the first CB to deploy to Vietnam as a component of Task Force 90 Passage to Freedom in 1954. That year an agreement was reached in Geneva recognizing the communist government of North Vietnam which allowed for people residing in the north to move south before 15 May 1955. Both ACBs were assigned to TF-90. Nine years later, in 1964 ACB-1 would return as the first CB in the Vietnam War. <laughs> Gulf War, Somalia, Persian Gulf In August 1990, PHIB CB-1 was the first Naval Construction Force NCF unit to deploy to Saudi Arabia in support of Operation Desert Shield. The battalion assisted in the successful offload of the ships from Maritime Prepositioning Squadron 2 and Maritime Prepositioning Squadron 3 in support of the 1st Marine Expeditionary Force and provided some limited technical support to other joint units operating in the area. On the 10th of December 1992, ACB-1 arrived at Mogadishu as part of the naval support element in Somalia. Within a short time ACB-1 unloaded five of the Marines' maritime pre-positioning force ships, refurbished the port, and provided fuel and water for military forces in Somalia. In August 1994 and again in August 1995, the command deployed the Offload Preparation Party op for Maritime Prepositioning Squadron 2 in support of Operation Vigilant Warrior and Operation Vigilant Sentinel in the Persian Gulf due to the threat of resurgence of Iraqi aggression. In each case the personnel returned home after a couple months but were in a 48 hours standby until March 1996. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Iraq War. The battalion was the first naval construction force unit to deploy during Operation Desert Shield. Most recently, in January 2003, ACB-1 half was deployed to Kuwait Naval Base, Kuwait in support of Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Moving over 1,200 short tons 1, t of cargo, on nine C-5 Galaxy aircraft, the PHIBs constructed the largest logistics support area LSA in ACB history, housing over 4,500 personnel. Additionally, ACBs were instrumental with the complete download of 13 MPF ships encompassing three MPSRONs. ELCASM was also deployed to move thousands of ammo containers from ship to shore. A small detachment from ACB-1 also moved forward in Iraq to assist the NMCBs with the anchoring of a floating bridge. In 2005, ACB-1 took part in the U.S. military's Operation Unified Assistance response to the Indian Ocean tsunami. Unit awards In recognition of outstanding services rendered in the Korean War, personnel of the battalion received three Bronze Stars, eight Navy Commendations with Combat v. S, the Presidential Unit Citation, the Korean Presidential Unit Citation, and numerous letters of recognition for meritorious services. During the Vietnam War, the battalion was awarded the Navy Expeditionary Medal, the Vietnam Service Medal, and the Meritorious Unit Commendation. Additionally, the command was awarded a Secretary of the Navy, John Howard Dalton, Letter of Commendation for Meritorious Service from 1994 to 1996. Unit awards in order of precedence Presidential Unit Citation Korea Defense Superior Service Medal Navy Unit Commendation with V-8 Korea Navy Meritorious Unit Commendation Desert Storm Republic of Korea Presidential Unit Citation Vietnam Presidential Unit Citation 1955 Operation Passage to Freedom Campaign and Service Awards 
Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal 104 NCB Philippine Liberation Medal 104 NCB World War II Victory Medal 104 NCB Korean underscore service underscore medal 3 Navy Expeditionary Medal Korea Vietnam Service Medal Vietnam Campaign Medal Humanitarian Service Medal, Det A1-81, 1981 Boat People Southwest Asia Service Medal Kuwait Liberation Medal, Saudi Arabia Kuwait Liberation Medal, Kuwait Humanitarian Service Medal, Operation Unified Assistance 2004 Topic. See also Admiral Ben Moriel Amphibious Construction Battalion 2 ACB2 Civil Engineer Corps United States Navy Naval Construction Battalion aka CB Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 1 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 3 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 4 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 7 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 11 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 25 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 26 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 40 Naval Mobile Construction Battalion 133 Naval Construction Battalion Center Gulfport, Mississippi Naval Construction Battalion Center Port Wyneme Naval Amphibious Base Little Creek Naval Amphibious Base Coronado Seabees in World War II